Hello, uh, my name is Gabriel Romero. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing and Education at Stealth Products. Today I wanted to go over uh, with you our Foam and Play system on our new Back 5 system. Uh, this is a, uh, a custom mold molding system that you can actually do on any type of manual or power chair base. So I'm going to walk you through the product real, real quick and it kind of explains some of its features. And then we're going to take a step-by-step uh, um, -step, uh, process on how you would achieve uh, a mold. Right now we're, we're, we have a uh, new back 5 uh, mounted on a uh, Invacure tilt system. And this is a new back 5 that has actual wings on it. And you can actually get it without these wings and you just have the back. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit about the benefits of having these wings. Uh, partially on having these wings, what's nice about it is that you see these hinges here. And what's nice about these hinges is that you can create all different types of shapes for clients that are in the chair. And right now we don't have arms on this chair, so uh, to simulate just working with it, but when you're working with the client, you could have them on. But you can see here that I could create a shape for the pelvis if I needed to, and you'll see how easy it is to lock this. So before I had a client in here, I could actually create kind of a shape that I could uh, um, map them a little better, is like what I like to call it when I'm creating that. And you can see that shape here. Or if I had to do a different one on this side, I could also create that here. And again, it just showing, showing a little bit of the flexibility that you have with this system and what you can achieve with it. It takes one tool, you're able to achieve a lot of uh, the adjustability with it, uh, with the 530 seconds. Uh, you see here that on this back, uh, there's a lot of gap and open air space. This is actually where we're going to do the foam in place and pour the solution into. But right now, you would actually get this in a box. Uh, basically bolted onto a chair and I want to, if you could come closer here, uh, I want to show you basically all the opening that you have here. That we're going to show the process in doing that. All it will come with is a quarter inch uh, piece of foam and the rest of it you have to do the solution of the, the foam in place. So you see all this open gap area that we're about to put a plastic bag and, and pour solution into it. But I want to talk a little bit more about the product. You also have upper supports that you can create for laterals. And you also can remove these and put our standard laterals that have the FFC technology on it. We're going to be working with the client today and uh, simulating. And it's not really a client, I say. It's actually a, 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 an individual that works here at Stealth. But we're going to use them as an example of how, you can, how simple it is to create a foam in place. So. An instruction manual on what you need to do on steps and following. It's a step guide. Uh, it comes with a mixer, and it comes with the solutions inside. Uh, a couple of steps, just in uh, a couple of just little tips uh, in this process. I like to keep a lot of these things. Sometimes I use this bag as my bag for the uh, actual mold itself, um, depending uh, if I, I've verified that there's no tears in it. Uh, but you're going to see different solutions here that we're going to talk about. I'll put them up here so you can see everything. So there's three solutions that are used here. One of them is called the catalyst. The other one is the actual foam solution. And then you have a, a reactive chemical. Uh, in this manual, when you read it from the manufacturer, it actually states to mix this. And you can see here when you turn it around that there's actually a lot of gel that stays there just because of the, as it's sat. Same thing as paint. You got to just really mix it, kind of mix it out. <laughs> you can do it two different ways. You can actually do it in this um, bottle right here, or you can actually do it in the mixer that they give you right here. So, and then you have the reactive chemical. The order that they usually tell you to do is to to mix this, pour it in here, pour this into the mix, and then at the last when you're when you're going to do the foam in place, they ask you to pour pour this also. And then you have about 45 seconds before this foam starts to grow into the mold that you're going to take. So in this process, we'll kind of try to explain that a little bit. But um, these are the three solutions that you'll end up using and mixing through it. Go. So now we've prepared the actual chair uh, to get ready for the pour. So you can see that we've actually placed some plastic bags 
on the back side of the chair because that's actually where we're going to pour the solution at. So you just put some you know, plastic bags, any kind of trash bags. Most of the time you won't ever get any solution on it, but it's just in case something happens and it comes out a little bit faster. But we've also placed a plastic bag in the back. I like to call it a catch-it-all bag. And basically what's going to happen, here's where we're going to pour our solution into into this plastic piece that's in the bag. But then what we'll do is we'll pour this bag in here and all the solution is going to start falling in here. You'll see it when it starts to grow. So now that we've prepped it, we actually have our catch-it-all bag and then we actually have the bag that we use for the solution. And in this bag here, basically, what you do is you unzip it and you can see here you have two spots that you can place it at. This back spot is just a little sleeve where our piece of foam's at. That way uh, the client never feels any of the mounting hardware on the back side of it. Kind of protects them when they're when they're back there but basically what you do is you just basically tuck everything to the very bottom and make sure that the plastic bags at the very very bottom and then what you'll do is just zip it up just slightly you want to be very careful not catching any of the plastic bag and tearing it because this is solution so if it you know if the bag has a hole in it you actually will have solution uh, coming out of it. So. so now that we've done all the prep and we've we've gotten the solution ready, we've prepped our chair, now we're ready for our client. Uh, of course we don't have a client here today, but we're going to use one of our customer service uh, representatives, uh, Vanessa, and she's going to help us uh, kind of show the process. Uh, so what we're going to do is emulate a, uh, an actual kyphosis uh, and, and do a, a foam in place on that and show the entire process with that. So uh, Vanessa is going to simulate a, a kyphosis on here. So. Pour it a little bit. So now that we've got everything set up and prepped up, you want to make sure, of course, if it's a lady, that there's not hair that gets close to the actual back where you where you were, where you're pouring the solution, which in this case it's not. And then, of course, you're going to have multiple people doing this. This isn't a one-person job. You would actually have a therapist positioning the individual. <laughs> you would have somebody, you know, uh, setting up the head and the positioning. Uh, the pelvis if they needed to. But in this case right here, we're going to already simulate that that's all been done. So since we have an able-bodied person that's capable of doing this, we just want to show the steps. But this would actually be multiple people will be involved with it. You may have somebody, if they had a scoliosis, that might be supporting them uh, while they're doing the foam in place. That way they could be uh, supporting them. So, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to ask Vanessa to actually prepare uh, and, and do, do, prepare as having a kyphosis where I actually mix the solution. What you want to do is kind of let the solution take mix. You don't want to pull the bag up because then what you'll do is you'll get an actual uh, mold that start coming up. But then you you do want to pull the zipper up though. So you do want to pull the zipper up, but you don't want your bag to to come in because you want it to kind of take a shape. And uh, another just little tip. When you zip your zipper back, always push it back down so it locks. If you don't do it, when it's expanding, it could open up on you. And you can see it's already starting to come out here. So you'll kind of just let the solution kind of start to expand and flow out. And it's getting a nice flow in there and you can see the shape that it's starting to take and you again you want to make sure that it's not pushing your client too far forward so you want to just hold position but again this is usually um, you know two people two or three people one's holding uh, knees and pelvis uh, from it pushing back too far on the bottom the other could be holding shoulders somebody else could actually be holding head for head positioning too and sometimes you can even use tilt a little bit to be uh, supportive in it and using gravity. So right now we're just going to hold her in place and hopefully you'll see the mold actually take shape to somebody with a kyphosis. And also if you had belts um, uh, that you needed to put in place of it, you want to have the belts in place, especially a pelvic belt and everything. So we'll allow her to sit a little longer. 
And then you can start kind of gauging it. Right here it's still really soft. This will start to get hard and then of course it will actually start to take uh, its shape all the way down too. But you can still see, even with filling it, you can still feel that it has. It still needs a little bit of time to get soft. Go ahead and pause it. So now that the solution is set, you can see it's gotten hard. Uh, basically what you can do is pretty simple. You can come in here and just start to cut the foam itself. Just be very careful not cutting the upholstery. And you can see you just leave a little bit of the, the actual foam there. There you go. Then you can actually take the cover and zip it.